Hi, this is another Ask Augustine. Today I'm going to talk about Spiccato, the basics of Spiccato and some other tips that hopefully will help you with Spiccato. The most important thing is that Spiccato is created by a motion of the wrist and that you don't have any tension in the rest of your arm. Really the rest of your arm isn't doing anything, it's just it just comes from the wrist. You should have a very relaxed shoulder and start shaking your wrist like this. I don't grip the bow very tight actually uh, with my fingers. I hold it but I am not, I, it feels very very relaxed and it's gravity that's producing the notes. Uh, this, the important thing is to know exactly where you are, where to bounce the bow uh, because as you get closer to the tip it gets faster, as you get closer to the frog it gets slower. So you want to practice this until you have kind of a feel of how, how fast the bow will bounce and so that that feels effortless. The next level of difficulty is then when you play a passage that has string changes because every time you change the string it's going to change the bounce of the bow. Uh, when I, play... I do the string changes basically with the rest of my arm but I keep my wrist very relaxed and keep, I keep bouncing it. This is something that takes some practice and it's definitely the hardest thing about that passage I just played from the Mendelssohn Concerto. One thing that can help you a lot with that is actually having the right fingering because based on when you on which note you're changing the strings it can be easier or harder. Basically it's much easier to bounce like this if the higher string is on an up bow than it is to bounce like this. That's really hard. So um, as a result, when you have a choice to make, whether to play an open string or to play uh, the notes with the fourth finger, you can choose that accordingly. If I'm going... If, if this A is on a down bow, then I would play the fourth finger, maybe. It's going to be easier then. But if my bowing is reversed, then I'll probably play open string, so that it's the more comfortable string change. Um, when you get to a, to a point where uh, you're struggling with the passage, sometimes figuring out the string, um, where the string change is going to be and figuring out the f fingering that's going to make that easier can, can help a lot. Even playing it in a different position, of course, as soon as you go one position up, then the string changes will be in a different place. Maybe that's going to make it easier. There are a lot of tricks, for example, in this passage, actually play in uh, what you might call half position because it means that all of the string changes are in such a comfortable place that I'm really, really comfortable whereas if I was in first position and I have to uh, I have to think about uh, on the, on, um, where exactly the dumbo is on, uh, after the string change. You might want in a spiccato passage to even play some notes on the string uh, because of because you want to bring them out when you're working on the phrasing um, so that it's not just completely uniform so it's not but that sometimes some of, some of the notes um, you actually stay on the string and then you start bouncing again and you can add little subtleties like that how you're going back and forth from on the string to off the string and but the basic thing is you have to first feel really really comfortable with the bounce of the bow and you can trust that gravity is always the same even if the way you're feeling uh, changes and and uh, but the bow will always bounce the same way as long as it's in the same place with the same tightness and you're making the same wrist motion. I hope that is helpful and um, I'll see you at the next one.